Uh, so uh, one question just about, you know, because like you said, you started on Kickstarter almost from nothing, and now you're a multi, multi-million dollar company. Uh, how, how do you feel the challenges of being now kind of the new kid on the block in the video game industry and uh, competing against these multi-billion dollar companies? Uh, uh, would it be easier to be acquired, or do you think that you guys can organically grow to really disrupt the industry? I definitely think we can organically grow and disrupt the industry. And I think that comes from two different things. Uh, well, actually, it comes from a lot of different things sort of synthesizing together. But the team that we've put together um, on the engineering side, especially people like John Carmack, Brendan Areeb, our CEO, I mean, we really have this incredible amount of talent and specialized in games and VR. That really, really helps because at the end of the day, teams deliver products and we have one of the best teams in the world. Um, you know, we went out, we raised a bunch of money. That gives us uh, quite a bit of funding to do some really exciting things, recruit more of the best people, fund content. We actually announced recently that we're gonna be publishing uh, made for VR content for the Oculus platform. So I think VR, and, and the final thing is really that the Oculus Rift is such a new experience and it's such a different experience than anything else out there that we don't see ourselves coming in and competing with Microsoft and Sony. It is this totally new experience that you can't get anywhere else, right? VR, you can't get that experience on a console, on a PC, on your phone. I mean, it's just a whole different ballgame. And I think that magic, the magic of you know VR being that infinite canvas and taking you someplace entirely new, that allows us to do some really disruptive things. Yeah, it's almost like you guys aren't just a gaming platform. You're a new display for computing and all sorts of interfaces can take advantage of that. So it's much bigger than just a video game company. It's more like a display company uh, wrapped around your head. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, for us, it's more about being a, uh, a platform company. Yeah. Like you, you can imagine like uh, your iPhone or Android device, right? There's this great platform, this ecosystem, it's content, it's yeah. great software, it's great hardware. And the possibilities at that point are endless, right? You can do so many cool things. And just like the iPhone revolutionized, or not the iPhone, but the cell phone revolutionized communication, especially in the smartphone of all things. Um, I think we're still very early days for VR, but it's really gonna take off and change a lot of different industries in very, very big ways. I just, I, I, you know, the first entrance in the video game industry for virtual reality was Virtual Boy, and a lot of people <laughs> panned it. But, you know, when you look at how far we've come from there, it just seems that it, obviously 10 years from now, Oculus VR is going to look amazing compared to what it looks like today and even five years from now. So I think we're at this, uh, there's an inflection point that happened. I don't know if you can point to what exactly it was, but it seems like in recent years there's been an inflection point for VR. Yeah, I think the, the real magic was the explosion in the mobile industry. So just mobile hardware, mobile sensor technology, display technology has gone, all of, all of it's gone so um, up in quality and so down in price that you're able to deliver a high-end virtual reality experience. The, the Rift, built out of mostly cell phone parts, you know, piggybacking off of all the billions of dollars of R&D into the cell phone industry, and deliver that to consumers in a, a really cohesive package and, and platform, you know, wrapped in this platform and ecosystem. So I think that is the true inflection point. Like VR was always quietly getting better behind the scenes. It wasn't VR though, it was the pieces that made VR possible. And so really Palmer, the inventor of the Rift, the founder of Oculus, part of his ingenuity was bringing that together into that, you know, package and delivering an experience like never before.